YouTube, what is good? It's Ryan Huber. I'm back with another video and we're taking the Vans RV6A for a spin today. A brand new airplane, to me at least, uh, that I just bought about a month ago with a partner of mine, 50-50 uh, share. It's a 2007 Vans RV6A. So without further ado, let's take a look. So the Vans RV6A is a two-place experimental airplane. It's uh, obviously a fixed wing, and this bad boy has a 0360 in it. Uh, a lot of them have the uh, 0320 engine, 160 horse. This one is 180 horse. So th this thing absolutely hauls in the sky. It's fully aerobatic, plus or minus 6G, so you can roll it. You can do loops, although I haven't tried one yet, and just have a lot of fun. Cruise speed is about 175 knots true, uh, so it absolutely rips. Taking a look inside, it's a pretty basic six pack. It's only VFR certified, so you cannot do IFR in this airplane, although that's something that we could install later on. It has a center stick on both sides for the controls. It is a um, constant speed prop, so you have a propeller control right there and standard throttle and mixture. Standard six pack and then a uh, cheap little Garmin, what is that? GNC 250 XL GPS there, which works all right. And then we have a little autopilot right here. Uh, so that's pretty nice. When you do these cross countries, I'm going to Atlanta today, there is an autopilot. So we're going to put our bags in this bad boy and give her a rip up to Atlanta. I'm headed home for the holidays. Excited to see some family for Christmas, and I'll see you guys on the takeoff roll. All right, guys, we're holding short of runway 34 here at Lantana Airport, just south of West Palm Beach. We're about to depart here. Uh, it's uncontrolled, so I'll make a call, and we're going to depart out to the north, bang a right, and stay underneath this Charlie shelf. The Charlie goes up to 1,200 feet, uh, so we're going to stay beneath that, depart VFR over the water, head north, and go towards Atlanta. Here we go. Lantana traffic, experimental 292 Delta Charlie, uh, departing runway 34, Lantana. Speed alive. There's 80. Here we go. A little bumpy. Thousand feet headed eastbound, and then we'll take a left northbound to head north. Just going around the inner core of the Charlie at West Palm. There we go 22 on the manifold, 2500 RPMs. Mixtures leaned a little bit. Boost pump is off. Taxi landing light are off. We'll leave the rest on. Lantana traffic, 7273 Mike, departing runway 34, staying left close traffic pattern. Good pilot, Lantana. Coming around the core here, we'll turn a left. And I will get up to altitude to see you guys in a bit, and we'll do a little Q&A from Instagram. All right, folks, welcome back. We are cruising at 4,500 feet northwestbound over the coast of Florida, north headed to Atlanta, uh, doing about 180 miles per hour over the ground. 
Uh, VFR, not talking to anybody, having a good time. We've got autopilot on with our, I think it's the TS-30 autopilot. I'm not even sure what autopilot this is, but it's got altitude hold, uh, heading hold. So it is holding a 340 heading, 4,500 feet. Cruising, we've got about three hours to go to Atlanta. <laughs> and earlier, I asked you guys to ask me some questions via Instagram. So we're going to read off a couple questions and do a little Q&A. I'm going to switch that. Who is this for? Never mind. Hold on. There we go. Quiet everybody up. All right, let's see what we've got here. Let's see what we've got. First question, what would you do with 10K to start off 2022? So $10,000. Uh, I thought about this question earlier, and it really depends on what your skill set is. If you don't have a whole lot of money, I mean, 10,000 is significant, but not an extreme amount of money to invest. So I would say, first off, invest in yourself. Um, if there's any kind of education, any kind of anything that you can do to grow your skill sets and make you better and more valuable to the marketplace, I would do that first. If you already have a skill set or a trade that you you know, um, then invest in that trade. If you're good at real estate or you know real estate, uh, then maybe put that money down on a flip. Uh, maybe go in with a partner to buy a, a flip or a rental property. If you like aviation, maybe put a down payment on an airplane and then uh, flip an airplane or use an airplane as an investment vehicle. Or maybe you know crypto, put it in crypto. Um, for the average person, I'd just say to save it, but not save it in dollars, save it in Bitcoin or crypto because the dollar is, I mean, we have hyperinflation right now, the dollar's going to shit, so don't save your money in dollars. Save it in crypto or real estate or something that's deflationary. Next question. Um, did you purchase your plane under an LLC? Yes, I did. Uh, I purchased it with a partner under an LLC. I'm not sure all the different tax benefits or things involved with that. I've got to speak to my CPA as we finalize taxes for this year, uh, but it is under an LLC, and I believe it will be a Section 179 write-off, uh, or it will be a write-off of some sort, uh, because we do use this airplane to go look at real estate in different states and around Florida, so that is something we use the airplane for. Next question. Do you see yourself ever moving back to Atlanta, or is this the ideal situation? I don't think I'll ever move back to Atlanta. Um, I might get an investment property in Atlanta, or like a second place in Atlanta, just to have a place there to visit family, but I really, really love South Florida. Uh, I'm loving it down here. I live in Fort Lauderdale currently. I moved four months ago, and absolutely love it. Any surprises in airplane ownership yet? My boy Alex Faulkner from the solo video a couple years ago. Uh, any surprises in aircraft ownership? Not really. Um, we had to replace the battery. We had to replace the circuit breaker. All in all, about $800 worth of maintenance cost for that. Um, but nothing too crazy. Insurance was a little bit more than I thought it was going to be, $220 a month. Um, but after talking to some people, that's about standard. It's a little bit more for experimental airplanes. So yeah, not too bad. Do you ever feel stressed or nervous before a flight? No, not really at all. Um, I've been flying for a long time and I love doing this. Obviously, you gotta be safe and prepare for every flight and make sure you do your due diligence. But um, nah, I love flying. Maybe cover the efficiencies of the RV, cruise speed, fuel burn, etc. So, okay, we're cruising here at about 160 knots. The outer arc here, you guys probably can't see this, but it's in uh, miles per hour, so about 180 miles per hour. And our ground speed on our GPS here is showing 181 miles per hour. Uh, that is statute miles per hour. The fuel burn, we're doing a 9.3 gallons per hour. We are heavy, uh, full fuel going to Atlanta, so this will come back to maybe about eight gallons per hour. I've seen it as low as like seven, seven and a half. Uh, and we're doing, this is probably like 75 to 85% cruise power. 
uh, 23 inches of manifold pressure, 2400 RPM, doing 180 miles per hour over the ground. Jordan Brown says, why the RV? Shopping for a plane now, so curious what helped you choose. Um, I got the RV just because it's freaking cool, and it was within my price point. 75,000 bucks, and you can go upside down. We're doing 180 over the ground, um, so it's fast, it's fun, it's got a canopy, you can go upside down, you can rip it around, and it's just an awesome airplane. So um, yeah, life's too short to fly a 172. Favorite airplane, Chris Bordenaro. I would probably say my favorite airplane is the Gulfstream G650, which I used to fly. Um, absolutely beautiful private jet. I love private jets. Um, as far as like having fun, probably this plane is my favorite airplane I've flown. Um, but it depends on the category. Like if I'm cruising in style, G650, eventually the G700, um, or you know if I'm flying for fun. Vans RV6 or Vans RV7. Nathan Tanner says, corporate or airlines going through ATP? Uh, it depends on your goals. You know, what do you want to do? For me, it was always corporate. I never wanted to go to the airlines. For me, in the airlines, you're just a number in a system and you do the same thing every day. I wanted to fly rich and famous people around in private jets and have a new destination every time. Uh, cool spots, cool experiences, and uh, more volatility and excitement. Uh, but that just depends on, you know, what you want to do and your goals. Airlines are more stable, a better career, um, but I think corporate is way more fun. So, depends on you, but both options are good. And I think that's all I got off Instagram so far. So, yeah, we're cruising here over the water, or not over the water, but over the shoreline. Um, I hope you guys like the content of this video, and I will see you guys in Atlanta and film the landing. I'll see you then. Right, guys we made it to pdk in atlanta unfortunately i messed my camera up and you didn't see or hear the atc audio or my face coming into land but i got the cockpit view of the landing so hopefully that looked good made it just in time for sunset i'm about to go take my dad for a spin dad what's up hey, bud. <laughs> welcome to atlanta yes sir yes sir merry christmas everybody and uh yeah we're gonna go for a quick little flight and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.